Hey everyone, it's Chris Ward with the CBT Micro Nugget on Excel 2013. In particular, how to use VLOOKUP. This is one of my favorite functions along with HLOOKUP when I have large amounts of data where I want to be able to type something in and then populate my fields or my cells with other information from a list of whether it's a list of instruments as I'm going to show you whether it's a list of support tickets or whether it's a list of whatever it is that you have and be able to do it quickly efficiently and accurately now the example I'm going to showcase to you is utilizing something that I use in my regular series for Excel and for Word and that's the Acme Instrument Music Company I have a huge list of uh, stuff that I'm going to be selling, inventory sizes. So I have a lot of information that I have here. And then, of course, I might have order forms. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to fill in just by putting in a SKU number, the instrument, the size, the price, and, you know, start working on this. And so VLOOKUP is really going to be the tool I want to utilize. And a lot of people get scared by these. Don't be scared by it it's rather simple. The first thing you're going to do is obviously you put your formula in where you want something to be inserted because remember anytime you put a formula it says equal. I want something equal to whatever the formula produces or the function. In this case we're going to look up something to my left. It's a vertical lookup because that's what we're doing. Okay, So because you're looking vertically across the entire amount here. So I want the instrument to come in, the price, the size, the inventory if I needed to. So I come over here to the order form. I select on here. I notice I'm on the formulas tab. I can use the lookup and reference go to VLOOKUP and it brings me my function arguments. The lookup value, remember, is where do I want to look it up? That's going to be over here. So I use my selection argument, say I want it to be B4. I come over here, say that's great. Now the table array is the text, the numbers, whatever values that are going to then, once you look up that value, what do you place in here? Where do you find that? Where do you find that from? Well, the table array, remember, was over here on a separate worksheet. So you don't even have to be on the same worksheet for this to work. In fact, not even the same workbook, by the way. So we can go in over here and we can say, all right, we want all of this. I'm going to select all of this. If it's in table format, which mine is not, um, you can also do that as well. But we'll go ahead and just say we'll select all this. Sounds good and that's what we're going to do A3 through E32. Now where it becomes very important is the column number where the matching value should be returned. So if I look up and this gives me a clue here, the SKU number, the next item is the column is going to be the name of the instrument, the next column is going to be the price, the next is the amount I have in inventory and the next is the size of the instrument which can be used for calculating shipping or other things. In this case, what do I want? The name of the instrument, right? So that's column one, column two. I go ahead and click OK. And of course, right now, I have not done any lookups yet. I can go ahead and ignore this error. And instead, I'm going to type in 1111. I hit Enter, and there is my B-flat clarinet. Now, of course, you can say, well, wait a minute, Chris. I want to be able to add size or price or anything else. Well, the good news is, is it's very similar. Again, you come over here, VLOOKUP, or you can always choose from the latest one that you have. Now, the lookup value, again, is going to be, in this case, whatever is here in B4, the table array. This is why it's good to have a table instead of just a range because every single time I have to come over here and select this instead of just selecting once within a table uh, and then it would just actually take the table arrange. And then the column. Now this is where again I have to think what is the thing that I want there? The size. Well the size is one, two, three, four, five. So column number five I put that in, I click OK, and notice it automatically pops up with the yes. Now you can do the same thing for the price, etc., etc., etc. But then you might say to yourself, but now I've got all these others, I want to be able to do the lookups here. Well, the nice thing is because you're using relative references, not absolute references, I can simply copy this down all the way to the bottom. And when I do that, it'll, of course, it'll say N-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A -A. You can then choose to turn that off so it doesn't show up. But watch what I start doing. One, 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 two. 
and I hit enter. Oh, that's an E-flat clarinet, 1124. That's a different number. I'm not going in order, notice. I hit enter. That's a marching tuba. Uh, let's do 1110, and I hit that. You know, and you can just keep going down through these each ones. Now, if I don't have a value for it, then obviously it won't return one. See, 1110 I don't have. So let's try 1110. Two zero and hit enter. Ah, that one I actually have. And so it'll actually return a value if you have it. Do you need to do the same thing here? Absolutely. Just come on down and it automatically populates. That's the power of VLOOKUP. Now, you might also want to use HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is the same except now it moves across this way from a horizontal. I go this way horizontally versus vertically. Again, why would we use VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP? When you have massive amounts of data and you want to be able to populate your spreadsheets, order forms, any of those type of things. If you're an IT guy and you want to say, well, there is a certain repair or a certain ticket number that is assigned to someone who loses their email, uh, you know, their uh, password for their email, someone who uh, needs to be added to another gr you know, group for group policy reasons. It doesn't matter why you're using the spreadsheet. If you have massive amounts of data going uh, horizontally or vertically, you can use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP to make your life a lot easier. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.